Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Stone Block 3. I'm here to renovate, guys. Look what's going on behind me. <gasps> She's trapped. That's right. I built the stasis chambers. They're right there. Uh, that wasn't too hard to make. We just had to make a couple things. I'll show you back at the base. But uh, once you start the ritual, I didn't know what pattern to put them in. I, do, I did know that she's long and I knew how wide she was. So I just did it like in that shape, which is kind of like the shape that she is. But you can see like it, it just holds her there. She did spawn some uh, skeletons that kind of ran away, but I killed them. And then I ended up putting those magma torches at the doors. So nothing can come in here and that kind of prevents the uh, slime blocks from spawning as well. And then, so here's our system that we're gonna get set up. I've seen a couple of people do this a different way with um, using um, uh, like a cactus and stuff, but I think this is gonna be fine. These already filled up, filled up to 100%, so I don't think we need any more. Uh, you need a mossy cobblestone here, and then we need to go get a drogmi, which I know where one is. So we're gonna go grab it, and then we're gonna see if this thing will actually work. So can I use? Actually, you know what? Let's. Um, did I bring that with us? Oh no. Um. Oh, that's not the right thing. Uh, is it in here? RF tools. Oh, I didn't bring it with me. Poop. Okay. Um. That's fine. We'll use. Uh. How long does this take to recharge? Three minutes. Uh, we'll probably be gone for longer than three minutes. Let's just go to run program. Let's go home. Let's teleport. We'll go home. That's chunk loaded. I'm not worried about it. Uh, the thing that I was trying to find was, uh, I don't know what I did with it, to be honest with you. We made a little teleporter block, uh, to use with this, but I don't know where I put it. I'm not seeing it. Like I made one. Uh, I don't know. But anyways, so this is, um, we had the, the, um, patterns in here to make this and then this this is what you need here to make the stasis chambers so if you go in here and do stasis uh you can see here that requires these little advanced machine and that required that so i had to do this and that's what those patterns are so those are all done um just real quick we went ahead and did a second tier on this So make sure it's still working. This top one looks like it got stuck. Oh, geez. Uh, no, 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 no. How did you get... Oh, we need redstone. Oh, no, Jesus. There. How does that even happen? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, we might have to separate these. I don't need that to happen ever again. We must have got low on... on redstone. So we're gonna have to drop an ender pearl on our own on this. Alright, it's a good thing I jumped in here. Uh, let's just go ahead and drop these. In there, it gives us our stuff back. Alright, so we just need, like, an ender pearl. And then we'll, uh, we need to break that. There we go. Drop an ender pearl, and then bam. Okay, so we fixed that. Hopefully that doesn't ever happen again. Those are 64s. Those are 64s. I just want to make sure it's going to work. There we go. And then bam. Okay, so it is working. Man, I'm glad we jumped in here. So we did uh, two tiers. I think that's going to be enough. I don't know. You can see here that we're uh, at zero, but you can see upstairs, if we go upstairs, we have 186. Now this has only been going on for like 30 minutes since the last time we recorded. Um, and then I got this one turned off because I upgraded our, um, uh, the reactor, I upgraded the reactor. And then uh, let's go down here. You can see we have 10,000 of these. And if you go over here, I might explain this later when we get back on how I got this set up. But you can see, I don't even have this like, um, sped up, but these things are getting, you can see the little red crystals are getting made. Boom. Pulls all 16 of them out. And so we have like 10,000 of them. So since I had so many, I went and upgraded this. Now, if you look at this, this can actually, uh, store up to 500 million RF. And then it's, uh, maximum extract is 2 million, which is great because these things over here can only, uh, store, or uh, they store 20 million, but they can only get 2 million and then I think those gates can only transfer 2 million. And then we are totally full on this 4 billion. So even with that going, we're not losing any power. 
Um, but I had to turn that off so we could get some urinite um, processed in, in there. Uh, so what did we come back here for? I forget. Oh, I need to go over to B's place and grab her little guy. Okay. So is she on? She is on. I think in order to get that charm, uh, the drag me charm, it's this right here. You have to, there's an enchanting process. All right. So we need all the four hearts, which we'll get, and then some seeds, and then this drag me shards in the... Well, normally bio specifically, they've been put in spawn plants. See the worn notebook for more information. I think what you do is you give, obtain by growing a tree, obtain by giving, there it is, that's what I want to see. Obtain by giving uh, a drag me a what? A wild horn, which we have wild horn. And I believe that they, they are in here maybe, wild horns. Yes, I have one left. Oh my God. All right, so, and then what do we have to make? So that's not what I thought. I thought we, uh, let's go back into charms. Uh, this right here, dragon charm. We need this enchanting apparatus and then that requires that. So I wonder how that thing works. I've never used that. So let's go, let's do that again. Let's do that and then that. Um, I think you need, wait a second. I think you, I remember doing this. You need like um, eight of these, right? Eight of these. And then there's something that you put in the middle. Uh, is there a book for Ars Nouveau? Uh, let's type in Ars Nouveau. Ars Nouveau. Is there a book? I'm pretty sure there's a book. Uh, device spell book. Uh, Mage's spell book. I don't know which one to use. Um, Worn notebook. Documentation. Here, let's just try this. Does that tell us what to do? Is there anything in here? Yes, okay, that's what we need to see. All right, so these automation charms. All right, so the drawing charms often found following attending the animals alive. This can be found anywhere throughout the, all right, so change brown, all right? So uh, you give him, uh, use a drag me charm on a block of mossy cobble. After a short time, the cobblestone. All right, so how do you make this guy? Uh, we need to look at, um, Go back. Uh, let's see the enchanting. Yeah, that's what we need to do. How to enchant? I don't want enchants. Um, the rituals. Oh my God! Which ritual are we doing? Performing rituals to activate the ritual. Bizarre. Interact with a bizarre with an empty hand. Once activated, your ritual can no longer. Performing a ritual requires ritual brazier and a tablet. Once you get to obtain the tablet and the brazier, place your brazier in the world. That's not what I want to look at. Uh, yeah, this isn't what we're doing. This isn't what we're doing at all. Okay. Um, let me look at this real quick. I think what we need to do is just place the things on there and then we can get the items. But I remember, um, it's been a while since I've done this. I think you put these on the ground like this and then we put this chamber in the middle. I'm I'm pretty sure that's how that works. And then it will, it'll, uh, you, you slap all the things on there and it works, but let me check something real quick. All right, guys, I figured out what we needed. Uh, I actually built that thing wrong. So those, I only needed one of those one things we needed. What we really need is, uh, these arcane pedestals and some of these arcane cores. And then we need to fill it full of, um, uh, the one stuff, but first we are going to go over to B's place. So we'll dial up B's place, uh, B's base dial once. We're going to go over there real quick. Say hi to her. We're going to take her little guy that she's got. She said we could have him. And I think he's over here in this room. So we'll go and check and see if he's still over here. Um, it looks like he is. Where are you at little horned guy? There he is right there. So I think we just click on this guy right here with this. Do we just like feed it to him? Oh, there we go. We got it. Awesome. That's all I needed. Thanks, B. Appreciate it. All right, let's go back to our house. Actually, you know what? We could probably use this and go back to the mother boss room. Teleport. We'll go there. I don't think I showed you guys that I made that, but that's a pretty cool uh, little item that we have. Um, So this here, um, motherfish still there? Yeah, she's still there. So what we need to do, I, I think we can put this like right here. This should work fine. Um, I need to put the core in the ground, all right? So we'll put the core here and then we need these pedestals um, all around like that. And then we need, um, actually, you know what? I think we forgot to grab one thing. Uh, yeah, we forgot to grab one thing. Actually we didn't, it's right here. It's this, it's this thing right here, right? So what we got to do is put, uh, let's see, let's get all our stuff that we need. We need four hearts. Let's put the four hearts on there. So we need four hearts, fart, heart. I said fart, heart, heart, heart. We need uh, three of these. 
So we'll put these on there. One, two, and three. Then we need the seeds. Put the seed on there. And then in the middle, we just need one of these little crystals, all right? And that should activate. Uh, no recipe found. Pedestals must be within three blocks. Um, Three blocks of what? Must be within. The pedestal must be within three blocks. Um, okay. What does that mean? Must be within three blocks of what? There we go. It didn't like the tomato seeds. That's what it was. So I just used a regular seed. That's all it was. So now we got that going and we should be able to click on that. And there's our charm. So all we got to do now is click on this block of mossy cobble like that. And then this is going to do a little thing like it is doing now. This little guy is going to turn around and he's going to see the mother fish and it should do some particles. Hopefully he can see her. Yes, it can. There it is. All right. So if we click, we can actually just put a chest underneath here, I believe. Um, let's do, um, let's go like this. Let's grab, oh, it's down here. Let's do this. And then let's grab, uh, let's just do a barrel. Let's do a barrel. I think it just automatically drops it in there. All right, so I, I tore down the glass and put this fence because it, it looked like the um, it looked like the um, stuff was coming in and hitting the glass and not going through. And then I just put up this little fence because I didn't want him to get away. Um, he can't jump the fence, which is good, but it is producing. It just takes forever, guys. I mean, this has been like... 20 minutes and that's all we got so it is working it's just super slow and i don't think you can tick speed this crap up so i'm gonna leave it here but i think that's all we're gonna do today guys actually you know what i'm gonna want to go back home real quick so let's go back home real quick my thing is empty so i can't use it uh this is good so we can use this let's run program let's go home teleport all right so we're back home so that's good let's check on something real fast let's dump all our stuff in here oh i didn't want to dump that um what's funny is uh one of the chests in there had one of these drag me charms in it just so you guys know and then uh we have this this these and i made some stairs also got one of these advanced magnets from a chest and uh i think that's it there was a couple um there was a couple of, um, what you might call it, um, those little squids on the ground. That's what they were. They were over in the corner. Uh, so let's see here. Um, I wanted to check in on this. Why am I not flying? Did I turn my ring off? I think I turned my ring off because it was pushing him. That's how he got off the pedestal, by the way. So let's put this on. I should be able to fly now. Nope, can't fly. Is my stuff empty? No. Uh, can I fly now? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. So we're up to 16,000. We're like a fourth of the way. <laughs> but we're doing good. I think we're doing good, guys. We're we're moving right along. We got automated hearts somewhat. We'll just have to keep checking on them. We don't need very many. I think we only need like 20, 26, somewhere around there. We don't need many. So that was just something to get done. The next thing we're going to work on is we're going to get rid of all this stuff here. I don't need any of this stuff. And I don't need really any of this stuff. Um, but what we do need to work on is getting, uh, mob essence. So we need lots of mob essence and we need lots of these. So we're going to, or not mob essence, experience. We need a ton of experience and we need a ton of these. So I think I'm going to make another farm and just let it go, just go ham on it. So, um, I think that's all we're going to do today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.